morning. Me and Miss Deborah's out here this morning, and we are trying to catch some stripers. And I just hung up on one of Miss Deborah's fighting men. You've got to love it. She's fighting a nice one in here this morning. Whole Lake Murray today. Miss Deborah is happy now. She's got a tug on her line. Let me tell you, and she's got a tug. Just take your thing. She's not used to catching stripers, people. And it's Saturday morning. A lot of boats out here. A lot of boat waves. But hey, no old, old fisherman and Miss Deborah's, she's got a good enough. Yeah, this is a good one. He's got a pumping motor. Alright, Miss Deborah's got a nice one, people. She has got a good one. She has got a good one. Look at, look at that, what Miss Deborah just caught. Oh, a jumbo magnum. Delight. Look into the camera, Miss Deborah. His waves are going to knock us all down. Huh? That is a good one. Not me. Whoa! Too. I can't hold it. Oh, that is a good one. That's a good one. Huh? That, my friend, is what we are looking for. Home late, Murray, and he will cut you. And he has got the net. The hardest part ain't catching them sometimes, taking them out of the net. And my goodness, I might can't get him out of the net. The old fisherman about half blind. That's a good one. It is a good one, people. Bear with me. I can't have a sick dog on this. I don't know how you going to get him out of the net. I don't either. He's in that net. All tangled up. He's tangled up. we got to take our time. Y'all bear with us now. Doggone. I mean, he wiggled when he, he got that net. He's ashamed to cut your net. Mm. He wiggled. Let's slack now. Uh... I can't get him, people. I'm going to get my needle nose. I can't get him out. He's in the net. Bear with me. I'm sorry. Dog, gone fish. All right. We got, it. We got the fish loose, but the, the, the spoon is still in the net. The spoon is still in the net. Finally. My goodness. You see what we caught him on? Flutter spoon. See that? Flutter spoon. Miss Deborah caught that on a flutter spoon. I'd let her hold him up, but she, he can't, she can't do it. It's too hard. So the old fisherman's going to have to hold this fish up. You see Miss Deborah in the background? Look at that picture. Look at that fish. You got to love it. Miss Deborah just caught her about a six pound, or at least a six pound striper on Lake Murray. Man, was that fun. Huh? I bet Miss Deborah likes that. Huh? I bet she likes that. Just drop it down and reel it up, Miss Deborah. You might catch a nut. We're, both of us are trying to do this. I don't know if we can. Just drop it down. Let it go on down. And uh, we're going to try to catch another one. That was fun. We just pulled over to a new spot and uh, turned on the camera, and boom. So I had to turn it on. Well, actually, we moved to a new spot, and I caught him, hooked him, and handed the rod to Miss Deborah, and uh, turned on the camera down at that point. But, hey, you seen it? Nice fish. Lake Murray, you got to love it. The old fisherman and his bride. Get it all the way down, honey. Pull it off with your hand. See that? All right, let's see if we can get, uh-oh, got a nut. Look at that. Huh? Got a nut, Miss Deborah, here. Take that rod. Whoa, another nice pull. Uh, it's, I don't think he's as big. He's not as big as last one, but he's a fish. Hey, he's a fish. Miss Deborah's having her a good time. Oh, Lake Murray today. Oh, my. Uh, he's, a he's a little, but we got to keep him. Oh. Hi. Yeah, he's a baby. Oh, baby fish. Oh, going it. But anyhow, hey, he's got to be part of our 10. We got to stay within the law. Whether I believe in that law or not, or agree with that law, you gotta stay within the law. See that fish right there needs to be turned back, people. You see that? You see that? Oh, he slipped out my hand. Oh my, he slipped out my hand. You see oh my that? God. He slipped out my hand. Miss Deborah said, My God. He slipped out my hand. Alright, we'll drop it back down. Drop it back down. Try to catch another one on Lake Murray. Take a fish you right. Yep, 
Yeah. Right there. I don't want to get tangled up in that. In that. You gotta keep it going. He wants it fast. He gets up, drops it back down again. All right, people, we're kind of hushed up here a little bit. I need to keep talking. We got boats all around us. You can't fish on Lake Murray on a Saturday without boats being all around you. But that's what we're doing here. We're on Lake Murray. Miss Deborah done caught two. One of them slipped out the old fisherman's hand. Y'all seen it? That fish went but about a pound. That's the prime example of what I'm saying. You need to be able to throw them back when you catch them like this. But anyhow, hey, he's gone. He's swimming. We'll catch him when he gets bigger, and that's the good thing. We'll catch him when he gets bigger. What we'll do? Got to get him going. Okay, on the bottom, reel it up. Deborah's got to get the hang of this thing. Drop it to the bottom and reel it up. That's all you do. You reel it fast, Miss Deborah, not slow. She thinks it's a, it, it, she, she's used to reeling things slow, but this day going flutter spoon needs to be real fast where it flutters. The faster you reel it, the more it wobbles. And that's what they're looking for. That's what they're looking for. All right. Oh, I think I got a hit. There you go. There you go, Miss Deborah. There you go. Got it? Well. Miss Deborah got another known people. You see it. Pull your rod back up here as much as you can. Let you see. Pull your rod down. You want to go around the trolling motor. Pull your rod down in the water. Fish coming around the trolling motor. There he is. Okay. okay. Miss Deborah's got a nice one. He ain't as big as the first one, but he's a nice one. Hey, we gonna keep him. I'll tell you that. He's not that big. He's big enough. We got to throw him back no more. We caught him in the back of the head. That's why he uh, pulled so. Okay. Hey, you see it? We got another one. We got another one. Oh, Lord. Old fisherman's got his hands full. Got to do a show in ten to Miss Deborah. <laughs> we, we, we a little bit out of it today. Ten and a half. We swapping rods. We having a good time. I don't like this rod. Okay. I like that rod better. Okay. Let me pull it up. Pull it over. All right. This thing ain't got too much line on it. This one goes down better. Yeah, I got I to pull. Sometimes you put too much line on your reel and it don't go out as good. And that's what Miss Deborah's talking about. She likes that rod, but I got too much line. I need to peel some of the line off this reel. And I don't normally put that much on there. I got carried away done it in the dark. <laughs> And so I got carried away with this one. I need to take some off and retie, and I will. But anyhow, hey, let it to the bottom and reel it up. That's all we're doing. And a lot of times that heat take off is going down, you see the line take off. And that old flutter spoon just flutters as it's going down. A lake fork flutter spoon is what we use. I want, well, I want you to be able to crush it when you're pulling it up. That's when it's fun. All right, we drop it to the bottom and reel it up. That's all we're doing. Now we ain't got the fish on us. We ain't got off the fish. That's the only thing about it. They're moving. They're not staying under you, so they're moving. You've got to have them under us. Right now, we're in 47 foot of water with no fish on us. So we ain't going to catch one right now, I don't think. I don't think. Now that comes a couple. See, they're moving back and forth. So that comes a couple. Maybe we get one of them. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. Keep it tight. Miss Deborah got a nut. We got a nut. I'll get that moving. I'll let him get around that moving. Okay. Miss Deborah got a nut. Now, not that big. Now, that first one was a good one. Oh! Got off. Got oh, off. He wasn't that big. Now. He wasn't that big. Got off. Hey, that's what happens. That's what happens. I'll be back down. See, we get a nut. They're working us. Get off easy, don't they? 
Yeah, they shouldn't, but they do. I think a lot of them you snag hook on. A lot of them with snag hook is what happened. They hit at it and miss it, and then you snag them on the side of the face. If they get it in their mouth, you generally got them. But a lot of times they you snag hook them. That's what you're doing. Down there. One ought to be biting. <coughs> All right, Miss Deborah, need another one. One of my first dates with Miss Deborah is we took her herring fishing uh, for stripers and. And she caught one, I think, if I can remember well, it was about 15 pounds. And I think that might have been what hooked Miss Deborah with old fisherman. But uh, me and, and her and, and, and my cousin Ty Cumberland went with Harry on a, one of our first dates together. And uh, and we got a picture somewhere of Miss Deborah holding that big old fish. I think it was about 15 pounds. And, uh, and she loves to catch them now. She loves to catch them. She loves going shrimping. She loves all that stuff. She just don't get the chance to go much. Back when I had my bass boat, she used to go more. It was more comfortable for her. Hold it up a minute. I think something's wrong with it. No, it's okay. Uh, it was more comfortable for her. Now it ain't quite as comfortable in this John boat. And, and, and I need to buy Miss Deborah another boat. I reckon I can get by if I say I'm buying Miss Deborah another boat. Don't y'all reckon? Kind of like my buddy said, <laughs> said, uh, he went to give his wife a birthday present. He had a, 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 a helmet. Old Mike, old Mike I t that I've been on the show with, uh, I've had him fishing by me on the show. And old Mike said he he gave his first wife a helmet for a birthday. She said, what's that for? He said, well, you can ride behind me on my new motorcycle I just bought. So, hey, that might be why that was his other wife, not his present wife, but I don't know. That's what he pulled. Maybe I can give give Miss Deborah a rod and reel and she's going to say, what's that for? And I'll say, the fish out of that new boat I just bought. Something simple. So, hey, that's a good way to trick them. I don't know if it'll work. But it, it, trick them. In Miss Deborah's case, it'd work. If it was up to her, we'd buy a new boat. Right. Uh-oh, messed up. Something done hit it, fluttered back. Yeah, if it was up to Miss Deborah, I promise you, she'd probably have a new boat. But if she wants something, she'd buy it. She's one of them type that goes to the grocery store. Now, I'm, I'm real picky. I go to the grocery store and it's got to be a mark down for I buy it. Miss Deborah go to the grocery store and say, how much you pay for that? She, you know what she says? I don't know. See, the old fisherman likes to stay in touch with his money. I guess I'm the type when she's the not so tight. So, But hey, we fit, I guess. We haven't fit for about 29 years, so we fit. I don't know which one puts up with the other. I think we put up with each other. So, but hey, it works. One thing about marriage people, one person's got to give in. Two people can't be stubborn against each other. You got to have one that's going to give in and make life better. If you got two stubborn people, it normally don't work. Right now, these fish are being stubborn. They're not wanting to bite. It's called a couple. You got to love that, but this might be a long video, and you know, I got the one in the boat that don't like long videos. She's going to see how hard it is to make a video here in about 20 minutes without cutting the tape. And we dropped that and caught, what we call four, or we had four, we've hooked four. Oh, we got two in it, two. is it two or three two. in it? We got two nice ones in there. I mean, they nice ones. I'll show them to you right quick while Miss Deborah's fishing. They nice. Uh... And we had one of them before we pulled up here. I, I'll say that. So, actually, we got three. But we got two nice ones in here. We caught one, one nice one before we pulled up here. Look at the, look at these fish, people. Them nice ones. Huh. Miss Deborah loves that. The other one's a little smaller, and we have one slip out my hand, so we, we should have four, but we got three. Hey, we need seven more fish for this video. Seven more fish is what we need. And uh, that might not happen. But anyhow, we out here having a good time. If we don't catch a limit, we don't catch a limit. As long as we catch a couple, Miss Deborah done got her uh, her taste of catching a couple, and, and uh, that's what we're doing here. And I got a wrapped up mess. I don't know what I got here.
I'll tell you, when you get old and blind, you can't see these little lines like you used to. Especially when they all around a sparkly tail. I can't see. I gotta put my sunglasses on to be able to see through my bifocals. I got bifocals in my sunglasses, people. Wouldn't be for that, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to tie a hook. I can tell you that right now. Boy, we got a, I got a mess. I might, Miss Deborah can't see no better than me, so we got two blind people out here trying to fish. And uh, she can see up close better than I can. I can't see. Well, that's not getting, that's not very good either. She can see up close and I can see far out. So, but her up close is about like mine is. So, I don't know why, we, right there's a couple fish, Miss Deborah. One of them ought to bite, but they off the bottom of the fish. The other day when I was catching the fish, they were more down to the bottom. Today, they suspended. And uh, that makes it a little bit hard to catch them too. You got to get through them and then pull back through them. They're not right on the bottom. And, and the reason for that is probably the sun ain't, ain't shining good enough yet. It ain't high enough yet. And uh, they can't skylight it. And yeah, that's the reason for it. But, hey, I want to show y'all, I brought Miss Deborah fishing. I know all y'all wonder why I never bring Miss Deborah fishing, but I brought her today. I wanted to bring her yesterday. I'm glad she didn't come, because, hey. Because they didn't bite. I didn't, I, I, I barely, I only caught five fish, and it took me a while. So, yesterday they didn't bite, and they slowed up. Now, the day before the yesterday, if I'd have had, them with, had her with me, we'd have caught, caught them in 10 minutes. The day before that. But, hey, it's the way it is. That's fishing. Every day ain't the same. Everything changes daily. And uh, you just got to know that. Even for the old fishermen, which fishes a lot. I found the fish, the first time I found the fish on this spoon uh, around the corner over there, I'll come back the next day thinking I'm going to tear them up and I ain't catching one in that spot. Had to move, had to find them again. So these fish move wherever the herring are. But hey, the fish are here. We just got to get the right pocket of fish. They in this area. I can tell you that right now. They in this area. They are. The sun's getting up. We probably will catch 10 fish. Now, it might not be on video. Oh, there he is. There he is, Miss Deborah. There he is. Oh, got, got him? Yeah. There he is. There he is. I don't think he's that big. That's a pretty good one. No? Uh uh. Miss Deborah said he ain't that big. I know better than that. That's just hit hard. He's not that I big. I think he's swimming up. Well, here he is. She done got some more, got him in the back. I see what's wrong. No, he's in the mouth. He's not that big, but hey, he's a, he's a fish, and Miss Deborah caught him. I want her to catch one on her own. That, she's not reeling it. See, I caught him top of the nose. He's hooked in the top of the nose. That's why the doggone joker was pulling. Thought he was bigger than he was. Them jokers will cut you. I got a rag somewhere. And if I don't use it, he's going to cut my hand open, and I'm going to say, why didn't I use my rag? But you see it? You see it? You see it? All right, Miss Deborah, that's number four. I think that's what that is. Can't count good. Drop it back down. Here's your rod. You like this? You ain't really that fast enough. Here, right? And we got another boat coming on us. Guess what? They got a spoon on. So that's somebody been looking at my video. Right now. They got they got that dog on uh, spoon on. I guarantee you. Every rod on that boat's got a spoon hanging on it. <laughs> so that's somebody's been watching old fishman videos, I promise you. Got five people in the boat and they pulling right up on me. That ain't good. And all of them got a spoon on it. Every one of them. Thanks for the phone. It might be something else. I might be wrong.
Everybody's out here on Saturday fishing. They'll come right on top of you and lay birds. They don't, they don't care on lay birds. That's for sure. You don't get the room you have at Mount Sulla. All right, Mr. Devers, time to get back. Pull out here in the middle of this ditch again, see if we can find a nut. On Lake Murray. Me and Miss Devil. I can't see how long that thing's been going. I know you can't. Nope. I sure can't. I got to guesstimate how long the videos is going, people. Because you don't want them too long. Uh, don't want them too long. When people come up on me like this, I can't talk. So we might have to cut the video. It kind of makes it tough to do a video when people come back. Well, we can back. have a couple videos. We can uh, come uh, back again. But uh, we gonna let y'all go. I got a boat to come right up on me. But you see what we caught. Me and Miss Deborah's caught. Hold them up again. That's a pretty fish. Me and Miss Deborah. Especially just, that big one is nice. Me and Miss nice. Deborah just caught two nice ones, and I'm holding. very nice. I'm gonna hold one of them up. See that? Lake Murray, you got to love it. Miss Deborah in the background. Hey, that's what it's all about. We'll get back with you as soon as the people get away from us and we can make a video. See ya.